Okay, so it's the second day of isolation, i.e. Monday was the last time I actually went out, the last time I went to go anywhere, which was to work. Um, today's the first walk out, just literally go up to the shops up the road, um, get me a lot of ticket and anything else I can get. I don't need an awful lot, luckily, at the moment. If I were to need anything desperately food-wise, then I can use a car and drive to the local... Um, supermarket I hopefully won't need to do that just yet as for the walking and exercise side of it I will probably try and get the bike I've got just the handlebars but I'll try and get the bike out do a bit of riding I've got my self-isolation shoes on or to let people know from a social distancing so we say so that's my super day glow trainers on <laughs> you can see me coming not that you wouldn't anyway obviously um, but yes, yeah, so I'll get the bike out probably over the next couple of days, hopefully. So hopefully, obviously, everyone should be playing their part and doing everything they can so they're not going out. Um, I said I literally just walked up the road. So you need to have a good walk and exercise um, every day. Walking, there's a park not far from us. I could walk up to that and back. Um, so there's lots of things I can do. On Monday, before it's all locked down, I did offer one of my colleagues who's somebody I consider as being a vulnerable person, um, her and her two children. Um, I said to her I would run around if she needed me to go and get anything for her, if she needed me to drop shopping at the door, if she couldn't get out, stuff like that. Um, obviously, things have changed with the lockdown side of that. However, that still applies, I will still do that. Should she need anything or anything needs to be dropped to her, she can't get out because it's difficult, I wouldn't really be happy with people taking their kids out to the shops to get something and if you're living on your own with your kids then unfortunately you can be a bit stuck unless you have home deliveries of everything so um i think it's just a sensible thing to do is to offer to go and drop stuff off to them if you can obviously she lives quite away from me so because a case of no i haven't seen any police about or anything at the moment so i can't see there to stop anyone if you was dropping off um essentials to somebody that needs it as for getting the drone out, well, strange enough, we've gone into lockdown and, um, oddly enough, the weather's really, really clear. It's not very warm, it's actually bloody cold out, but the um, weather's nice and clear. So it was actually my birthday the other week, and this is the sum total of the cards that I got, which is, you know, enough for me, old man, you know what I mean, so it doesn't mean a lot nowadays, does it? Being it was a few weeks ago, it's a bit naughty of me. I realised I got this card from my brother. I've only just realised in the last couple of days that it's got a pool and there's like another message underneath. So, of course, I didn't actually notice that on my birthday itself. It's only sort of uh, when I was looking at it yesterday, a few weeks later, I realised what it was. <laughs> Okay, so it's another hot sunny day, as you can see from the light that's coming in on me. Um, so it's lovely and sunny out, and we're indoors. Um, it's a bit weird for somebody with depression, because some people with depression don't seem to want to do a lot. One of the things with having depression is you sort of have no energy and no effort to want to do anything, especially if you panic about what's happening and what's going on. So obviously you've got to try and compensate for that by doing other things. People with depression tend to sort of overthink and over panic things anyway, so um, it's a bit more worrying maybe for them. Especially, I mean, I'm lucky my anxiety is very low. If you had anxiety, I think it'd be very bad. You know, there's other things to do around the home. One of the things I was thinking of not going to initially be around the home was the other day, just before the lockdown came, I had bought a lens on eBay for my camera. Um, this is very similar to the kit lens I've got already. So this is an 18 to 55 lens. It's replacing my kit lens. My kit lens always was a bit slow and from a previous camera. So it was probably a, 
about 12, maybe longer, maybe 14, 15 years old. Um, now I've got much older sort of legacy lenses, older lenses that are sort of 30, 40 years old, but the newer lenses don't work as well as the old ones. They weren't built the same. The main reason I've got this lens, it's the 18 to 55, but it's got this little red ring around it. The little red ring makes it weather resistant and waterproof because the whole camera itself is a weather resistant camera. So I've got a lens that I could use with the camera should I need to go out if it's drizzly, raining, a bit wet. I wanted to take some pictures of some lightning or other things like that. I've got this fantastic lens. I say fantastic, it didn't cost me much again because it's a second hand lens on eBay, super cheap, but I've been waiting to get a weather resistant lens for ages because I didn't have any for the weather resistant camera. I will try and use it indoors for things, try and come up with some ideas. There's loads of websites, lots of websites for cameras, lots of websites for music production, video production, all that sort of stuff that are now offering free advice on things to do around the home. Some sites are even offering free downloads for certain things you would have normally paid for maybe. Sites like um, Native Instruments for Music. So if you want to get back into music, Native Instruments are offering their Tractor Pro DJ software and their music production software free. So you can download it and play with it and do what you want whilst you're stuck indoors, which is, I think, it's a brilliant idea. Some other companies offering free bits here and there. I think it's a really good idea to do that, other than cashing in on it. Because I know there's some sites out there that are cashing in and just trying to say, oh, you can buy as much as you like now, we'll give you a bit of a discount because you can't get out. That's a bit unfair. Also, of course, I still need to feed my obsession. Um, this thing, another watch came through. It actually came through today. Um, we're still during lockdown. I ordered this again before though, because this is ordered way before the lockdown. It's just come through the post. It's a Pantone Lemon Chrome ice watch to go with my ice watch collection of the Pantone watches. Comes with the Pantone box, luckily. Um, all the box, everything. It's a bit stained at the top, but I don't mind. So that's gonna get cleaned up, go on to a video review. I'll review it and it'll go in my collection with my other ones. Um, so for today that's it, I will, as I said, I'll keep doing these and I'll keep finding things to do with it. As I said in the last video, everyone keep safe, keep happy, follow the rules, the rules are very stringent now, and they're there for your safety, so do everything you can to keep yourself safe and happy, and let's get through this.